Hey, how's it going? I'm excited to bring you this tutorial today on creating a Cine camera switcher. So this is in the third person template and we've got cameras placed throughout our scene. And by just pressing a single keyboard, we can toggle between the different camera views. So it looks something like this, where you go play. And here's my third person player, just the usual suspect here, usual guy. And then if I press one, it's going to, well, I hit escape. Let me show you something here first, I guess. So there's a camera over here, up here. See that? And then there's a camera over here. And then this player character has a camera, right? So if we go play, we're seeing everything through the player camera right now, the player character camera. And if I hit one, now we're going to see this from that one camera that was kind of up in the air, off out of the arena. And then I press one again, and I'm going to toggle to the second camera view. And what's cool about this is you can actually control your player character while this is going on. If I can figure out a way to get them into the scene here. Let me, let me do this. I hit escape again. So let me hit play. So where's that other camera? Let me let me put my player character somewhere where I'm sure to see him. So they're there. Okay. So now if I hit one, we go to that camera up in the air over here. And I hit one again, I go to the second camera view. And see how I can see my player character? And you can actually move around. So it's a cool way to still kind of see your character. And then if I hit one again, I've actually got the viewpoint of the player character here again. So I'm back. And then if I want to do it all over again, I just hit one again and I've got that other camera view. So it's just a really neat way to see your scene while your player character can still be active. See that? So it's just a super cool little thing. So anyway, I'll get started on this in just a minute. And this is actually just one way to do it. There's many ways to do it. And it's actually based on an older Epic Games tutorial on how to switch camera perspectives. So anyway, I'll be back in just a minute to get started. Okay, so to get started on this, we're just in the third person template. We're in Unreal Engine 5.3.1, I believe. And as far as I know, this isn't that difficult, but it can be a little tricky and so just follow the steps carefully and if you miss one it might not work so just you know I'm gonna make sure it works before I post it so hopefully it'll work <laughs> like I said there's different ways to do this and this is just my implementation of this the cameras could be actually triggered uh, to appear by player position in the scene but I decided to do it with the keyboard press to give the player control and I'm doing that primarily because I may want control if I want to film or do something I want to be able to control the cameras and toggle through them so I don't want to have to control the camera by the player's position although you certainly could create trigger boxes to trigger the camera instead of using a keyboard press so I just want to put, throw that out there so to start this, we're just going to create a blueprint. So we're going to go to here, blueprint class, actor class, or we're just going to call this BP switcher like that. And we'll just go ahead and double click it and go into it. And we're going to just dock this up top. There's nothing that we need to put in the viewport. This is all just going to be on the event graph. So we can delete these two nodes because we don't need them and they're just going to get in our way. Now, because this is not the third person BP, the BP third person player character, we need to enable any input that we try to. If we don't do this step, then the keyboard press is not going to work. So all we have to do here is just on event begin play, we'll just go enable input right there and we just got to get the player controller so right click and get player controller and that's right there and the target is this blueprint itself and this will just let us do the keyboard press on here and that's all we got to do for that 
And some of this is very repetitive. So once we make the first line of code, we'll be able just to copy it. And so no matter how you try to do this, I think if you do it other ways, there's pros and cons to each method of doing it. Otherwise, you've got to drag. You'll see as we go, but there's different pros and cons to doing it this way. So, but I think this way is a really cool way to do it. So, but I'm a little biased. So we're going to right click and go keyboard press one and you can drive it off of any keyboard press you want, but I'm just going to do one. I like one. And then we're going to get something that's really cool. We're going to press M and left click and get a multi gate. This has turned out to be one of the most amazing things, very helpful. And this is what will allow us to toggle through our cameras. So if you wanted to have five cameras, six cameras, seven cameras, I'm just going to have three cameras. So I'm going to need another input there. And then we want to loop it. And I did a tutorial already about the, the do once nature of this multi-gate. And so you might want to check that video out too. That might be helpful. But anyway, it allows us to toggle through these three switches. And with loop, then we can just keep toggling through it. And it'll do one at a time. So you press it once, it'll do this output. You press it again, it'll do this output. You press it again, it'll do that output. It's, and then if you don't have loop set, that'll be it. But if you have loop, then it'll just toggle through all these switches again. So it's just a really fantastic node there. Now when this starts, it's going to start with the default player character camera. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to set up our initial logic here. And this shouldn't take too long to do. But we're going to go ahead and pull off of this first pin and cast to our BP third person. So cast to BP third person. Right there. And the object is going to be our player character. So I'm going to put this down here get player character right there and we'll be pulling off this a few times so I'm going to just leave it kind of centrally located down there and then we just want to make sure that it's valid so we'll pull off of here and search for is valid that right there and then if you press B and left click we're going to get a branch node and if it is valid if it is our player character, then we want it proceed. And then we're going to right click here. I guess we can pull off of here and type get controller right here. And off of this, we're just going to go right click and cast to player controller this one right there and then this just pops into there and then this just pops into there and then we're going to do another is valid check and this is basically all off of the the original epic games tutorial so we've got is valid here i guess and then we'll do a branch note again b left click pop that into there and this into there and bas basically just making sure everything is copacetic and then this is kind of an interesting way to do it but we're going to basically kind of hard code our cameras in once we're ready so what we're going to do is we're going to get actor of class so get actor of class and we won't set it right at the moment and here is really the, the star of the show of what makes everything happen with the camera switching. And if we pull off of here, or can I just right click and get it? Let's see if I can get it from here. No, I know. I think I have to pull off of, no, I take that all back. I have to pull off of the controller as player controller. So I have to pull off of here, the player controller. That's the only place I can get it. And it's called set view target with blend. And the wires start getting messy here, so we can double click and put a reroute node in there. 
And this is, I'm trying to make this neat because we're going to copy and paste this in just a minute. Okay. And the blend node, you could set this uh, with a variable or you can just set it. But this is basically the transition time between the target and the new target from our old camera to the new camera. So because we're casting to our target is our third person player character camera, we're going to be transitioning to a new camera. This is basically the blend time. So just to make it clear, uh, not blend here is the blend time. So you can put any value in there you want. If you just want it to go right away, you just leave it zero. But you could set that as a variable, but I'm just going to input it in there like that. And then we'll click connect this. And our new view target is going to be what we set as our camera once we put it in the scene and get that set up. So there is that logic all there. And as far as I know, that's everything. Now, once we got this one done, it all depends on how many cameras you want in your scene. So we're just going to copy and paste all this. If you want, I'm just like I said, I, so you'd copy and paste this line of nodes for as many cameras as you're going to have in your scene. So I'm just going to have two in the scene and then the player character has one. So I'll hit control D and I'll make that one. And then to return, we kind of have to do the same thing all over again. So I'm going to duplicate that one more time. And this will basically return us back to our player character camera. This will, once we do finagle a couple things here. So then what we do once we have this basic setup is I'm going to go ahead and put this output into here. And this goes in here. And then this output here is going to go in there. And this output is going to go into there. And let me just check something here. The one little exception that we're going to make is over here. So this is what we're going to, how we're going to set our camera. So I'm going to drag two cameras into the scene. I'm going to set one to here and one to here. So it's not really, it's kind of the opposite of instance editable. It's not going to be instance editable. We'll have to set it in here. That's what I call hard kind of coding it. But that's just one of the drawbacks of this system. But once you have it set up, it's set up and you don't have to keep messing with it. It just depends how many cameras you want. But you might want to put more cameras in here versus less, but I'm just showing you how you could do it with two cameras. So here on this last one, when we, so once we toggle through, so when we start the game, let me just explain this. When we start the game, it's just going to be the regular third person player character. Then I press a keyboard once and it's going to transition me from the player character camera to the camera that I'm going to place into the scene in just a minute. And then once I hit the keyboard again one more time, it's going to transition me from that camera to the second camera. And once I hit one again, it's going to trans transition me back to the player character camera. So because we're going back to the player character camera, we don't need, we don't need this part here. So that's not going to be our... So I can delete this node there, the get actor of class. And our target... Our target is going to come from here into there. Oh, I guess it already goes in there. So forget that. So our target does, is that set correctly? So we just got to put the player character from here and drag this all the way over to the new target. Right there. And that's a long home run, so let's put a reroute node in there. Like that. So, something like that. It's a little messy, but hopefully you see that. And then this just goes into here. Right? So then we're just transitioning from the, the control back to, basically this is just transitioning the control back from the controller back to the third person player character. Yeah, that's all that's doing. Okay, so now we, we're done. We're basically done, and that's the whole show right there and like i said you just add more pins if for more cameras so now let's add our cameras now that we've got this all done so this is very interesting and i didn't know anything about this until just recently until i kind of looked at that old tutorial we're going to right click and go to blueprint class 
and we're going to search for a camera actor. This one right here, a cine camera actor. And I'm just going to call this BP Cine Camera. And that's all we have to do for that. It's automatically camera. You notice see how it's... Uh, do I have to compile and save this or just save it? Save all. Okay, see how it's in the shape of the camera? So if I drag this on the scene, it's going to be our camera. So this is how we're going to make our cameras as blueprints. But I'm going to create a child of this for as many cameras as you want. So if you wanted th three cameras or whatever, you'd, do, you'd make uh, two children of this plus this one. So I'm just going to make two cameras, so I'm going to just make one child of this one. So I'll go create child. And it comes in with that name already. And I'm going to just save that or save all. And then all I have to do is basically just place these cameras and then just hard code them in. So let's go ahead and hard code these in. So this one is going to be our BP Cine camera there. And then this one is going to be our BP Cine camera child and compile and save those. Now all we have to do is just position the cameras wherever we want. And this is this part's actually kind of fun. So I don't know what we can kind of do what I had just done. And I'll show you one little thing here. So let's just drag the first camera onto the scene and you see it right there. And it's so it's already linked up. We we do need to drag our BP switcher into the scene as well. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to select this camera in the scene and I'm going to right click and see where it says pilot the camera. So now using my controls I can just fly around like I normally would and just position myself wherever I want my view using the pilot controls. So let's say I want this viewpoint here then all I have to do is come up here and eject from that view and now that camera is locked in space up there and if I come down here and I look back I should see it up there right so then what I do is I'm going to just drag this camera onto the scene I'll right click it and I'm going to go pilot this camera so with my WASD keys clicking my right shift key I'm going to go ahead and position myself, I don't know, in some other spot wherever I want. Let's say I just want this viewpoint. And of course you have all the regular camera controls. You can adjust your field of view and stuff like that. And then I just eject. And now that camera is located where it needs to be. Now I'm just back into my WASD without anything. And you can see that camera is placed over there. So now all I should have to do is hit play and then I should be able to toggle between the cameras. So let's see if this works. Hit play. And here I am in my third person player character camera. Running around. And if I hit one on the keyboard, I transition up to that camera in the sky up here. And now I've got this viewpoint. And I hit one again. And now I'm going to transition over to that other camera with, from this view. And what's cool is I have control of my player character still in the meantime. Cool, huh? Isn't that cool? <laughs> and then if I hit one and I'm going to go back, I hit one. And it's going to take me back. Now, I have that blend time is five seconds. So it might seem weird. You know, it might seem weird that transition. So you would just simply come in here and adjust that blend time for whichever, you know, however you wanted it to be. So like I said, I have it set at five, but you could put it at zero. If you put it at zero, it's just going to jump right away. So anyway, that's all I had for today. I hope you found this helpful. And if you do, please consider subscribing. I, I hate to sound like a nag, but I, I hate when they put up those buttons that say subscribe. And I, <laughs> I feel like everybody and, and uh, knows how to subscribe, but I do appreciate it if you aren't subscribing, you do subscribe. So anyway, take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.